there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary and it is summer and it is yard sale season and we have been able to do some yard sailing which is just so exciting. As much as I love to thrift at a thrift store, I really love to go to a good yard sale. So we went to one recently that was just the prices were incredible. It was like fill a bag of books for a dollar and everything else was like, you know, cents, like 25 cents, 50 cents. So amazing deals and I found a few gems. I really loved this set of glassware with the star etching on it. I thought it was so beautiful, but it just was a bunch of pieces that we wouldn't practically use. I wish they were just like regular drinking glasses, but I did check out the rest of the plates. They had this really lovely one. It was just by itself, but I would love to get a set of china that is more of like a fall color scheme. So I just took note of the name of this one just to kind of keep it in mind to look for. I thought this asparagus teapot was so cute. If I had a china cabinet to display things like that, I would love that. And then this set of flatware, I really considered it was so sweet, but we didn't need it. But then I also did a Facebook Marketplace pickup, which is, you know, I have like my tiers of favorite things. I mean, if I want bigger items, Marketplace is the place to go. So I found a really lovely piece, I'm gonna show that to you. And then I'm also going to, at the end, just kind of follow up with some items that I have thrifted recently and that I've showed to you the items and kind of show you how I've styled them in our home and put them to good use. So at the yard sale, I found a couple of really great pieces of art. I have really been trying to kind of elevate the artwork in our home Pretty much all of my artwork in our home is thrifted or secondhand, or it's a family photo in like a thrifted frame. So I've just been like slowly kind of updating a few. So I found this one, it was 75 cents. You can see the tag still on it. And it is an original, somebody did sign it. I mean, it's sort of like one of those, I don't know how exactly to describe it. I feel like we did this in art class in high school, but it's, it's like a sketch, but it's like an imprint. I forget what it's called, but it's beautiful and it's signed. My husband and I were trying to make out what the name was and what this little thing says on the bottom. So it did actually have a mat on it, but the matting was so tight that it was covering up the name. So I just took the matting off. It's original artwork, it was 75 cents. You can't beat that. And I just love these little, you know, detailed sketches. All right, so alternatively, this one is not an original. It's just a print. It says burn, and it's just a really beautiful, just kind of old fashioned looking photo. And I actually just love the frame and I love the little round hook at the top. I think that is just such a really sweet, you know, touch to it. And this was definitely under a dollar. So that was a great one to find. I'm thinking of possibly actually putting this up in our bedroom because I'm thinking of doing something fun in our bedroom soon, but that's another topic for another day. And this is just something lovely that I found at the yard sale. So I also picked up this large one. I'm gonna try to show it to you without the glare. There we go. Anything that has strawberries in it, I'm immediately drawn to it. And I like that you can't really tell, but the photo is kind of textured. I mean, it's not an oil painting by any means. And I'm not crazy about the frame. It's a little 70s for my liking, but it's a really easy swap to get another secondhand frame. I can easily take it off and pop it in a different frame and it would like totally elevate the look of it and make it look a little more like kind of an oil painting. And it is, you know, it has someone's name on it, but it's not, again, an original, but I still think it's lovely. And then I found some books, which again, like I said, it was like fill a bag for a dollar. So amazing deals. These two I only got because of the spines. I've been slowly updating some of the books on our built-in bookshelves in the living room to cream colored books with gold font, you know, like gold writing on them. So I just, you know, peeked up underneath all the dust covers of the books and found two that had you know, the, that combination. This one is blue, but once it's on the shelf, you won't be able to see that. We have a mix of decorative books and books that we actually have read or plan to read or like reference books for us, but I like mixing in those colors as well. Now, as far as some books that we do want to read, I found these two. This one is called If You Lived in Colonial Times, and it was just a little kid's picture book and I just was in love with colonial times when I was little and I feel like I basically still am in love with it. 
it's just really, really sweet. And my kids love learning about like pilgrims and you know, the Mayflower and like all that kind of stuff. So this was, I thought a cute one for any time of year, but maybe more so specifically like, you know, Thanksgiving time, fall time. It talks a lot about like harvesting and stuff like that. And then I found this one, which I feel like was such a gem that something that Lord willing, we will cherish for a very long time. It's called Let's Keep Christmas, a sermon by Peter Marshall. And literally everything about this book is so charming. Like this, just the, you know, like block printed kind of look of the Christmas trees on the, you know, first couple pages. And just, I mean, the story of it, the whole theme of it, you know, keeping Christ in Christmas and the true meaning of Christmas. And it's just darling, like the way that the illustrations are drawn, the words in it, the colors. I mean, is this not like the sweetest little picture? If there were four, I would like make a copy of that and frame it. It's so sweet. Just darling, if I could find this on like Amazon or eBay, I'll try to link it down below. If anyone can find it, it was written in the 50s. Just so sweet. I love it so much and I'm going to cherish that one. All right, so I know we're not anywhere near Christmas and I mean, we're kind of halfway there, which is crazy. Um, but when you see things, you kind of have to grab them. So I found this beautiful, it's that brown bag cookie company. And it's one of those stoneware like baking pieces. And this has some Christmas images. It was 50 cents, if you can see there. And I love making Christmas cookies. I love making shortbread. So this is perfect for shortbread. You can press it on there and then cut them out. And it's just really, really pretty. I don't even think it was probably ever used and I don't even know how easy or hard these are to work with, but I'm gonna give it a shot for 50 cents and there's a little hole at the top. You could even put a little like red velvet ribbon or something and you could even use that as like an ornament. It's a little bit heavy, but you could do it. So I thought that was really pretty. So something I have been wanting to do and sort of slowly incorporating into our home is just more patterns and textiles and fabrics. But I just saw this little swatch of fabric and I loved the print of it, the midnight blue. Great when you have children to have like dark, busy patterns on things. It just helps to hide all the imperfections of life but I thought this would be great as a pillow cover. There's not a ton of the fabric, so if I did do it, I would have to probably back it with a different color because there's just not really enough to do a full pillow with it. And I don't really know how to sew very well, but I can do a straight line, so I think that I might be able to pull that off. I would just need to get a backing fabric. And then lastly, at that yard sale, I found this quilt. It's like a small quilt. And it's actually, there's a little piece of paper here called a quillo because it's a quilt that you can actually fold up into a pillow. And I actually just thought that the patterns were very, very similar. I thought they were the same at first, but this one is a little bit different. I love the, again, busy, kind of hectic pattern of it. So I plan to just toss it over a, you know, chair in our house. And I just noticed there's berries on this. I don't know if they're strawberries. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Can't escape my love for florals and berries. All right, so my marketplace pickup item. I was cleaning our sunroom a few weeks ago and I have this really lovely wicker desk in there and it's just very simple, straight lines. And I was thinking, you know, I would love something with a little more like curves to it, something a little more special. That one was fine and it certainly served its purpose, but I'm thinking I could actually use that one out on our deck as like a serving buffet piece. And I wanted something a little more special in the sunroom. So I just was searching on Facebook Marketplace for a little while, you know, a couple days looking for a wicker desk. And I found this one. It was only $35, which was such a steal. The woman that I bought it from was so sweet and this was her childhood desk and she just was thrilled that somebody was going to take it and own it and love it like she did. But I gave it a little, you know, clean up and I'm debating painting it. The white is fine and it is a little chippy, which is totally fine by me and, you know, just makes it all that much more charming. But I feel like a color could also be really pretty. I am not ready to do that right now. I have too many other projects and things going on, but that is an option. And if I did paint it, what do you think a good color would be? Because our sunroom is very neutral. We just have, you know, like the tan walls. I have that black shelf of our sort of curiosities and nature collections that we've 
found around our home and elsewhere and there's really no other color in that space so maybe that dark green again kind of ties in just with the outside and you know the trees and things i don't know um again on the fence it's fine white and i'm going to enjoy it that way when we host parties we actually set up that desk area as like a coffee station so i just again i love having just something really pretty there and again the shape of it was just so special i've never seen anything like it i loved how some shelves were on the inside some were on the outside there's a little drawer and it's just adorable. Lastly, let's go around the house and I will show you how I have used and implemented some of the items that I've thrifted. Our home is constantly evolving. I feel like there's very few things that I have set up and they have stayed that way for a long time. I just love to switch things out and that's kind of like the fun of thrifting. You can kind of play around with your accessories for very inexpensive and if something doesn't work out eventually you can just re-donate it or some things you get for pennies really stand the test of time and you have found a treasure that you've been able to use in your home for years and years so let me go ahead and show you a few of those pieces this little corner of our kitchen is almost entirely thrifted i have some of the nantucket art just leaning here i think it looks really cute and i love looking at it and if you remember this lampshade i found at a thrift store i did find a lamp to go with it at home goods and i just think it's such a cute little shape i love having that lighting at night and then on the wall, I framed the Nantucket postcard that we got. I already had that frame on hand and I love having it in this spot. I see it all the time when I'm getting things out of the pantry and things like that. And then I put that quill in the living room, just hung it over one of our armchairs. And I just love those colors, especially for spring and summer. And then this dresser was a marketplace find that I shared a little while ago. And here's how I styled the wall. I actually moved one of my horse prints, which was also a marketplace find, to this wall. I still would maybe switch it out for a mirror, but this works for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here, spending your time here with me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for all the love on our vacation series that was just so fun to document and share and i just really enjoyed it if you are new to my channel be sure to stick around and subscribe i have plenty more content coming your way home decor thrifting yard sales house projects all that good stuff and i would love to have you here i'll be talking to you soon take care guys